Hi everyone, in this series, we're gonna create a scripted REST API in a scoped application. This application is called Vehicles. So before we start creating the API, let's take a quick look at the application itself. The basis for our web service will be this table here called Vehicles. It's just a simple table that contains some basic vehicle data, such as make, model, year, the vehicle identification number or VIN and so forth. If we take a look at the application menu, we can see we've just got two simple modules here for creating a new record and a link to all records. If we look at the form for this table, we can see that we've just got nine simple fields. If we switch over to Studio, we've got our table here for vehicles. And then over here, we've got three basic roles that we're going to be using, mainly the integration role for our demonstrations. We've got some access controls as well for our CRUD operations. So the admin can perform all operations. The user can perform everything except deleting records. And at the moment, the integration role has not been assigned yet to any access control, but we're gonna change that later. So you can see here a simple example of a read access control currently assigned to the user role. I've also gone ahead and created three simple groups corresponding to each of the roles that we currently have in our application. So one for admins, integrations, and another one for users. If you look at the vehicle integrations group, it's got one group member at the moment. We'll come back to that, but you can see it's got the integration role here. This group member, I've created three corresponding users as well. So here we've got the vehicle integration user. It's a member of the vehicle integration group with the vehicle integration role. It's actually got two roles, the integration role and the SNC internal role, which we will talk about later in this series. One thing I will do here is activate the web service access only setting here. When you enable this setting, this will disable the login using this user account for interactive sessions. In other words, using the user interface, it can only be used for integrations. So now we've got the framework for our web service. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at an application that we're going to use to easily generate demo data because at the moment, I don't have any data in my vehicles application. So we're gonna use this other application to generate demo records and import them into ServiceNow.